Hi, I'm Steve Jacobs from Columbus Fifth Wheels, and I'm here to introduce you to our new 2023 product. And this is a brand new floor plan for us. It's our, our three, uh, 375 BH, BH standing for bunkhouse. I'm gonna show a couple features on the outside that you should be interested in. First of all, I wanted to point out that we don't use a standard hitch. We're putting on a Moride hitch. This is a top line hitch. This mechanism is gonna give you some uh, movement both back and forth and give you some uh, anti-chock mechanism here so you're gonna have a smoother ride going down the road. Another nice thing is that we have a full painted cap on the front. So this is gonna give you a good look going down the road and, and setting at the campground. Another nice thing is that we're using six point level up. So it's hydraulic, so you've got a lot of power there. A little bit more than you actually need, but uh, it, it's, it's good to have. The other nice thing is, if we want to look right back up here, is that we already vent you for a washer dryer. Um, a lot of manufacturers make the dealers do that or the customer do it. We're going to prep it for you just in case you want a washer and dryer. The other thing you should notice is that we take and we, we put metal wrapped awnings on our fifth wheel. There aren't too many out there that do that. So if you're going down the road and you're hitting limbs, you're not going to rip your vinyl. Um, it's going to be protected. Um, we have a new, new sidewall and this is huge. So what you have is a double Asdell. So you have Asdell underneath your fiberglass skin, heavy duty block foam insulation to keep you warm or cool. And then on the interior uh, of the wall, you also have Asdell underneath your vinyl. So you never have to worry about wood rot in your sidewall. And then it's also high gloss. So that is gonna be easy to clean and it's gonna last a long time. Um, you've got the no nice more ride steps that flip up in an extra wide door so you can easily take bins in and out of the unit. Again, a metal wrapped awning. You have frameless windows that look great. They're big. Notice the size of all the windows. They're huge. And then I like to point out that down below we don't cut any costs. We're going to put a more ride CRE 3000 suspension. We got G-rated tires on here, steel belted radials, and then we got lion's head rims. So that whole package right there cost a lot of money, but we're going to take care of you going down the road. This floor plan um, actually has an outside kitchen set up. So you have a nice little refrigerated freezer, nice little sink out here. You have a quick connect underneath for a gas stove. And we'll walk around the back here. Ladder's always mounted um, on our units. If it doesn't have a ladder, probably not a walkable roof, but this is a walkable roof. So you've got a ladder as standard. You got a receiver hitch as standard equipment too. And this floor plan, again, this is a bunkhouse, so it has also has a rear entrance. So it has a bathroom on the back, so you're not traipsing in and out of the unit and taking dirt all through it. You got a bathroom right here on the back. So let's go on in and take a look at this. So this is a bunkhouse floor plan again. And what you have is you have a full size bathroom back here for your guest in the rear. So I've got plenty of headroom here. So if it's somebody who's tall, they've got plenty of headroom, plenty of room to move around. You've got a full size toilet. And the other side here, you have a really nice medicine cabinet and sink and drawers. You got a towel, you got windows in here. You got a fantastic fan on the ceiling. And then this bedroom is awesome. Look at how many you can sleep. This is a good size bunk. This is a good size bunk. The ladder flips down and easy up. And then easy store. You're not having to lay this up on top of the bunks and out of the way. And then on this side, you have another bunk and then you have a hide a bed sofa. So if you have some adults, you can take and fold this out and you've got a queen. You've got queen, one, two, three. You can easily put four people in here. Three kids, two adults, five people, but this is a really nice bunk room area. So we're gonna go into the kitchen now. 
and the living room area. And this is uh, one of our newer setups. So you have, you have two power recliners right here, two recliners right here. And then you actually have a cell phone charger in between, cup holders. And then this setup right here is for dining. So this can swivel, it can pull out. So you can get in and out of it. And then it comes off of this bracket right here and then you can store it. Another nice thing we have here, you have a fireplace that actually gives off some heat. So on those cooler mornings that it's 62, 63 degrees, you wanna warm it up a little bit in this area, turn that on, it'll, it'll give you some heat. You've got storage behind the television. So if you wanna throw a bunch of paper towels in there, pillows, blankets, whatever you want. And then you've got plenty of storage up here also. So I think this is just for the living room because if you look in the kitchen, there's even more storage. So you've got three sets of drawers right here, two big ones, plenty of room underneath the sink. And again, big deep drawers on this side, both on each side of the full size range. So you got four burner, two big ones, an extra small one for small pans and then a full size oven. You can actually cook a turkey in there. Again, more storage up here, storage above the refrigerator, French door refrigerator with ice maker. And then you've got another pantry on this side. And to the right here also. So there's a lot of room in here. The other thing I want you to notice is how big the windows are in this. So you've got MCD shades. So you got blackout. And then you got for daytime when you just want to cut down some of the, uh, the sun coming in. We're gonna walk up the steps here a little bit. And I just wanted to point out our new system. A lot of us in the past have used a touch uh, screen um, where it was very, I guess, unreactive. With this, you're gonna be able to actually touch and feel each mechanism. So you can do everything right off this. Now this is also Bluetooth, so you can do it off your app on your phone or your iPad, but this makes it a lot easier for everybody. Here's our bathroom. Look at the size of the shower and look how big, big, beautiful it is. So plenty of, get, again, plenty of room, skylight above. Again, another fantastic fan. So you have one in the back bathroom, one in the kitchen, and one in the full bathroom up here. So you got two full baths on this unit. Again, plenty of storage in this also. The bedroom is unique. This particular floor plan has a seven foot interior ceiling. So this is a, a new chassis configuration. Instead of having six four, we got seven foot of interior uh, height in here, which gives you additional storage above here, gives you more height above the bed. And then notice this is a king bed. I can walk around this side and I can walk around this side to get into the bed or to change the sheets. How many times you find the king bed floor plan that you just don't have the room. And then back over here, you've got your, your closet. You got a real nice area to either take and put folded up shirts and shorts or shoes on here. You got a, a closet rod and then another cabinet. Now, if you want to put a washer and dryer in here, here's where it's gonna go. It's already prepped for it your electrical outlets. There's where your vent would go through and you'd be all set if you wanted to add a washer dryer. So that um, is the, the 2023 375BH. Um, thanks for being with us today. And again, I'm Steve Jacobs. If you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to us at Columbus Fifth Wheels.